Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to share you how you can install an SSL certificate in Amazon Linux 2023. So Amazon Linux 2023, it's a bit different from the Amazon Linux 2 because Amazon Linux 2 was based on Center 7, which is Fedora. That's the difference. So the comments will be a bit different. So uh, before we do that, let's uh, launch an EC2 instance. To do this, we have to go to EC2 console. I search EC2, then I will see EC2, virtual servers to the cloud. I go to instances, and then I'm going to launch a new instance. Click launch. Okay. And I need to choose the AMI. So it's Amazon Linux 2023 AMI. Uh, by default, this is pre-selected. So sometimes you just choose this and you think Amazon Linux 2 commands will work, but that doesn't happen. So if you choose go here, then you see Amazon Linux 2 and Amazon Linux 2023. So there is a huge difference between these two. So don't assume that the commands that used to run SSL certificate is in Amazon Linux 2 will work on Amazon Linux 2023 as well. So uh, that being said, let's uh, continue further to micro that's fine i'm going to use a key pair name here network is fine we're going to use some existing uh, security books i already have so um that's that and then in the advanced settings i'm going to use an im instance profile that is already previously created that use that helps me to uh connect the instance via the ssm or the systems manager other things I can keep as it is, and it looks good. Now let's launch the instance. Details of the instance. Well, let's wait one or two minutes to instance being launched. Then uh, I go to my blog article where I have uh, kind of described what I do here to complete all those things. Now let's uh, do run the commands one by one. Okay, so I'll just copy this. So remember, this is uh, Fedora based. So they use DNS rather than YAMI. YAMI will probably work because they have created some sort of alias, but it's better to use DNS to run the commands. It's not connected yet. So it's what are the parameters? Yeah, we have four four three uh eight zero two two. I think all are given permissions for the right. Yeah. So now let's connect via session manager. Uh, as I told you, I I have uh, provided an IAM role. That's why I was uh, I'm able to connect with the session manager. If you haven't provided the IAM role, then you cannot uh, connect with session. You get an error. Now if we try, I will be able to connect with the session manager. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go to root. So I'm going to switch as a root user. Then make the screen a bit bigger, slightly bigger, so you guys can see what I'm running. I'm going to paste it. Uh, the comment is simple. Sudo dnf update minus y. Just run it. There is nothing. Then we need to install the uh, Apache, which is called HTTPD and remote the SSL. That is also simple. Um, yeah, wanted to install it. That's been done. So then we are going to um, start the HTTP and enable it. That's also be important to start it and uh, enable it. Otherwise, you have to start it every time. Enable it means that if you restart the server, it will automatically start. You don't need to run this command again. Okay, that's been done. So now let's verify the status, you know. So it should give us a good status like active. It should show active. Yeah, let's see. Uh, 
Okay, now uh, let's clear the screen one more time. We go to the next, and uh, what we're going to do is we are going to use Pip3 and Python to install the cert board, right? So the, the cert board is a tool that requests SSL certificate for a domain, and then uh, it assigns that certificate to your cert domain auto. So we need cert board, and that will also help you to zenu. Now, uh, what we have to do is, uh, Need to install these things. Yes. So, um, yeah, I want to install it. And then uh, this is the one. So, we're getting a virtual environment here. No, so we're getting a Bluetooth side for virtual environment. And then we are going to uh, update the tip. So this is the command that I'm running. So go to the server tip install grid. That is done. And I'll clear the screen one more time. Then I'm going to run this uh, command. This will run the support support FLC via the pip. So uh, if you carefully observe the command, so this is the this is the path where we actually uh, like copy the support and the like uh, the not copy the support. The this is a virtual environment, Python virtual environment where we have pip here, and then this pip will install the support and support device. That's been done. Looks good. Let's clear the screen one more time. Okay, then we are going to create a symbolic link, right? So what we have is uh, this symbolic link. We actually, uh, this is the path where our SART bot is being installed. And then we trying to create a SART symbolic link, this path, so that we can use directly the SART bot command. So anything inside the user, user slash beam, like Sartbot, I can directly use this command into my terminal directly. So now if I do Sartbot, then it will give me uh, like all those things here. Okay. Okay, uh, let's do one more time. Here, what we have to do is we start with Apache. Here, and I need to log into my uh, domain manager cloud there. So, we to pause the video one more time. Okay, I am in Cloudflare where I manage my DNS. So, inside the DNS section. Let's create a new subdomain. So give it a name, SSL uh, 24, this is 2024. And I grab the IP address uh, because I made this screen bigger. That's why it looks weird, but you can just copy the IP address from here. Copy this and then paste it here. Oops, this proxy, say, right? So now what we need to do is run sudo start for Apache. This is the one. Okay, I will give a uh, domain name here. The domain name will be SSL24. Right. I need to add a virtual host first, right? So that is also a requirement. Uh, where can I find the Apache virtual host? Well, I have some blocks, so let's see. 
Here is so. So this how to create a virtual host in Apache two. So let's yeah, we have all uh, done this. What you have to do is then we need to edit this file. It. So we need to create like so the VI EVC HTTP constructive slash VS.com. And then what we have to do is like copy these lines and open the log file. Or maybe to use this one, that's okay. We give it a name. So the alias is the alias SSL24. Um, there's no alias, this case is not one. Um, but the, the HTML, that's the path that we want to have. HTML. All other things we can keep as it is, right? So let's keep it. Uh, Now, uh, so do I see system CTL. Restart HTTP. I need to restart the Apache server to have this virtual host being applicable. And then now we can run it. So we start with Apache, right? So now let's see. Enter this. Yeah, now we see our subdomain name. Yeah, it is successfully received certificate. That means certificate received, but it's done and it has done everything. So now what you have to do is like you need to go to our website, SSL XYZ. Then we see this, it works because that is the HTML message that we have at this moment. Now let's go to uh, clear my screen, go to the uh, HTML folder, and then we add a uh, new file. Then now in the words of HTML. I just tested whether I had the permission. So yeah, I have the permission. So I'm just writing for HTML. Then we have made uh, it. It should have some Python, I guess. And we have Title and then we have body. This is very minimalistic, I guess. Which one? Um, let's see. We do this now. Let's see. Let's try. Yeah. It looks good. We have the title, we have the body, and we can just modify this. So that being said, um, this is the this is the main like main need, need of this tutorial that we could install SSL certificate in Amazon Linux 2023. 
we have a blog post here in this uh, on everything. I might leave this uh, into my video description so you don't have to Google it, but I will probably add it at the bottom of this references. Okay, that being said, thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. That really, really appreciate you. We need to create more video content like this. Thank you. Allah bless.